That's why God gives to us his word, so that we can study it, we can talk about it, we can pray on it, and there we can learn to know Christ Jesus. So today, I remind us, church, if we sense, if we believe that God is calling Grace Church to a great mission in this community, it requires us as God's people to be willing to discipline ourselves to know Christ Jesus. We've got to know our our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The one to whom we give our hope and our allegiance. The one who desires our life. And the only way we can know that is spending time in His Word. So I want to do some surveying just to find out where it is we've been and where we have come. Since I arrived about a year and a half, almost two years ago, we've been distributing bookmarks, encouraging reading. How many of you, with a show of hands, have read even one day off of a bookmark throughout this time, huh? We have had Christ in the homes in the back of this church. We've subscribed to them. How many have used something like this, have used a devotional book at some point in your life and found that to be of some value? All right, now I think there'll be less hands. How many of you read the whole Bible at one point or another in your lifetime? All right. Well, there's some hands that have gone up. I I can put mine up, too. Um, I didn't do it when I was 11, but it was mandated in seminary that you had to sign a paper that you had read the book before you graduated. There was a few of us students panicking in our senior year. You know, Habakkuk wasn't something we were just talking about at the coffee shops. Uh, in those days all the time. How many of you read a gospel all the way through? Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John? All right, more hands go up. Now, as we come to know Christ Jesus and we come to serve him, it says in verse 25, since I am convinced of this, I know, Paul says, I'm going to remain for your progress and your joy in faith. Paul wanted to remain for the sake of the joy of faith within the church. Christ Jesus, this faith restores joy in our life. It is a joy to serve Christ Jesus. Is that right? Sometimes, sometimes we think that if I turn my life over to Christ Jesus, I'm going to become some doleful individual. I want to assure you, Most of us have known somebody in our life who has had the joy of the Lord in their life. Isn't that right? Somebody comes to mind who has possessed that kind of joy within. And we rarely see ourselves as being that example because we're too close to ourselves. But that joy of the Lord is what God wants to give us. So as I close today... I'm reminded that we cannot grow in a faith unless we're planted in the word of Christ. So if you are here today and you are wanting to deepen your discipline of reading God's word and applying it to your life, if you are willing to take that stand and say, you know, it's been a long time or it's been a while or I could stand to strengthen that discipline in my life, I'm going to invite you to stand right now so that we can pray for you in that discipline. And lest we get turning our heads around wondering who's standing, let's close our eyes. So if you would like to commit yourself to a more consistent reading of God's word, I invite you to please stand and let us pray. Father God, your word is a life-giving word. You renew us and you strengthen us. And I would ask today, God, that despite how busy we might be, how many pressures we might face, how many other commitments get in our way, that you would bless those who are willing to stand and say, God, strengthen me in my discipline of knowing your word. And I pray that you would give greater understanding, greater insight and the ability to apply your word, which is truth, to our lives. In the name of Christ Jesus, our Lord, we pray. Amen. You may be seated. If there are any here today who want to give your life to Christ Jesus as Lord of your life, the difference being 
that you are willing to follow Christ with the whole of your life. And this is what the Christian faith ultimately comes down to. A willingness to say, God, I turn my life over to you. That you might help me out of my circumstances and that you might guide and lead me in my life. Some of you have been keeping God at a arm's length away. And Christ Jesus wants us to yield our life and to seek to follow Him. So if you are willing to surrender your life to Christ Jesus, I would like to pray for you as well today. So I invite you to close your eyes, and if this is true for you, I invite you to please stand at this time and let us pray. Good and gracious God, we thank you that you are the God of multiple chances. And you know that we have not loved you or served you with the wholeness of our life. I pray for each person today who is willing to take that stand. That we might surrender our life to you, Jesus. And that you might take up lordship of our life. Christ, we're in a great missional time. And I thank you for those who are ready to make that move as well. May you bless them, keep them, strengthen them, and encourage them this day. And God, in all our ways, I pray for the people here at Grace that you might use us to be your fruitful and faithful witnesses of Christ Jesus. So come into our lives today. Fill us with your presence. In the name of Christ Jesus, our Lord, we pray, and all the people of God said, Amen. Thank you, friends. You may be seated.